In this video, guys, we're gonna look at three medical applications for cannabis. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you and investors, warm welcome to you. So as we know, cannabis is going crazy at the moment in terms of exposure, in terms of news flow, and in some cases, in terms of stock price too and valuations. We know that we've seen a lot of inflow, a lot of interest from retail investors, a lot of interest from institutional investors, from the recreational side of it, legalization side of it, but there's also a side, the medicinal side or the medical side of it, which is gaining big traction as well, because that some countries is already legalized. Medical use of cannabis is already legalized. There are some countries that are allowing it. Some countries are becoming far more relaxed in letting that become an additive into drugs when other things aren't available, that kind of stuff. So it seems to be the first step before kind of full legalization for recreational use for people who want to consume it, smoke it, whatever they want to do with it, as they would perhaps alcohol or tobacco. This is actually a use for patients who are struggling with certain things. So let's look at the three things that we know are out there already. We know, arguably, again, this is a kind of not pros or cons or cheerleading for it specifically, but we know that they're gaining some traction. We know that they're gaining some exposure and we know that people are investing in. The first one is pain management. So at the moment when people are managing pain, they undergo either go to kind of the hardcore drugs which are you know suppressing the pain. There's multiple side effects from those. Some of those are uh, there are some kind of addiction things there as well. Uh, you know, it could cannabis become addictive? Who knows? It's kind of not an argument for or against it, but pain management, people are saying, a lot of patients are saying that this is managing, especially long-term chronic pain, far more effectively and far more safely without some of the unwanted side effects um, that a cannabis is as compared to some of the harder drugs. So, of course, the drug companies will love to invest in this, would love to kind of be able to offer this as an alternative when perhaps those higher, more powerful drugs aren't working, or perhaps people are concerned about taking those over a longer period of time, or perhaps those people out there who don't really want to get involved with, with uh, you know, those kind of drugs at all and are looking at kind of more natural ways and maybe want a little bit of assistance and they perhaps perceive that cannabis is more natural. So, you know, it opens up a whole new market. So this is this is the big thing as well, this pain management. And I've seen red articles as well where, you know, there's been articles about children and kind of people suffer with long-term pain where this has really helped them and like I say without the side effects now is it true or not we need to do more research it's not just something we can look at a few articles and say well is that a theme that's going to recur and it's going to cause you know the company to what you ever want to invest in to grow massively but it's something to be aware of it's something that the pharmaceutical companies are looking at it's something that other companies are looking at and something that's going to be very welcome to specific patients if it is indeed true Number two is skin creams. If you think about the millions and billions that people spend on skin creams for all sorts of things like, you know, acne, like for rashes, like for moisture, moisturizers, you think about the whole kind of skin cream industry. If cannabis is proven to, I don't even know, let's say it's proven to reduce wrinkles, all those things we see the adverts for, you know, reduce aging, it's proven to kind of calm down irritated skin, reduce rashes, you know, reduce acne, reduce all the things that people are trying to reduce with these skin creams. If there is some use for cannabis, you can bet that these, these, beauty, uh, these beauty companies and perhaps pharmaceuticals for the stronger stuff, they are going to, and even kind of the... Um, the home-based brands, you know, the kind of companies that own like home brands like Unilever and that kind of stuff. Even these guys are going to be saying, well, you know, if it's popular to infuse skin creams with cannabis or with some kind of cannabis uh, oil or something like that, then they'll use it purely for the marketing perspective. Even if it's only got a little bit in, uh, you know how it works, guys. You know there's kind of fads come in and stuff. Now, this may not be a fad, and maybe that's incorrect for me to say that, but if it's genuinely proven or people are genuinely getting good results from it, there will be a massive rush to buy it. If people are you know, clambering to buy it, so this is a big medical application. And that's just a beauty side, really. Medical, we could have some more serious uh, impacts, you know, some more serious things like eczema, psoriasis, that kind of stuff that really kind of it really badly impacts people's day-to-day -day lives. If this kind of stuff soothes it as an alternative, perhaps uh, to a steroid cream, maybe then that uh, that's much more suitable for some, some people. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical expert, but this is quite interesting to see how this is a new area that's growing and potentially from the beauty side and the medical side. And the final thing is a sleep aid. 
There are a lot of people out there, as we know, who take heavy sleep medication to sleep. They struggle to sleep, insomnia, as you've got the full kind of one end of the scale, of the insomniacs are people who just struggle to sleep. Now, a lot of people will take heavy medication for it. Some people will take over-the-counter sleep medication. Some people will crack down a few glasses of wine. Uh, you can see there's a full range of things. If Perhaps there is a tablet or there is something that has a minor dose of cannabis. We're not talking about getting people completely stoned off their heads here. We're talking about a minor dose. And if that's proven to help people fall into a kind of more natural sleep. Again, I'm speculating with this video, guys. You get it. You know, we know what it's about. It's just thinking about potentially where this could go and how this could relate to our investments and trades. But let's just say there is then you could see that the whole range of people from the people who are kind of drinking a couple of glasses of wine before bed, uh, thinking, you know, I shouldn't be doing that really right the way up to people who are taking heavy duty sedatives almost, all that may well be interested in this because there's loads of disadvantages to all those kind of things. Um, they may all say, well, actually this might help me uh, and it's not so harsh or it's not so bad for my body, all this kind of stuff, you get the idea. So there's just three. And the other one actually that came to mind now which is kind of in the pain management sector, is this, I'm seeing a lot of articles where it's very good at controlling nausea. So when there's side effects from specific uh, drugs for uh, bigger, bigger problems like um, you know HIV, I've seen stuff like some cancer drugs, and there's a lot of side effects from nausea, then people are seeing great results by taking some kind of cannabis um, to control that nausea. So again, opening up all kinds of things and most of the stuff is positive now there are some side effects we are we are hearing that there may be some side effects so it's it's not a, a free silver bullet for all these things but it's interesting and if people start to you know take it on board and start to demand this uh, as opposed to other stuff then companies purely wanting to make money and capitalize on the demand will supply them with cannabis infused products or cannabis based products for these specific three things because they're looking to make money, looking to help the consumer, the consumer's looking for that and everyone's a winner. So keep an eye out for that guys, companies that are involved in that, these could be the three potential biggest medical applications for cannabis. If you've got some more, stick them in the comment section below. I'm coming on this journey with you. I'm sharing what I find about the cannabis industry. Make sure you are subscribed because we're gonna do much more, many more videos about cannabis as it progresses throughout the years, throughout the months, however it goes. Uh, the videos will be up when I can get them to you. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.